interacting with another co-op based device so they use co-op directly uh, if, if they want to uh, uh, work with HTTP they make the use of proxy you can look at the uh, figure on the right side so co-op is they, the co-op based device they interact directly and if they have to interact with uh, work with HTTP they make the use of uh, proxy so wh what does Pro proxy behave like it behaves like a server to a client so pro proxy behaves like a server to a client and it behaves like a client to a server now just like an uh, just like a URS scheme uh, in HTTP uh, there is this uh, scheme for co-app also which is co-app colon slash slash then uh, if it is a security uh, based co-app then we have co-app s and the scheme goes like that. Uh, then, yeah, we discussed about the proxy, how uh, when it works with HTTP. For example, there's this HTTP-based client. Uh, it has to make a request to the server, where which is actually working on co-app and has got a uh, sensor. So it requests using GET and there's this proxy it translates it into con and the server responds with ack uh, and this is again translated into uh, the message that could be understood by the http based device so that was all for today thanks for watching and have a nice day Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add image to your Android Studio app. In order to do this, you're going to need an image. So head on over to Google and simply type what you want. I'm just going to type Android and click Images. And now we can see all these images of Android. Now we select what we want. Now I seem to like this one right here, so I'm going to click on it and click View Image.